Hi, my name is Aaron Lindsdale. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! Today I'm going to review the Motorola MS350R walkie-talkie radios. Are these the best walkie-talkie radios out there? Is the MS350R possibly the best walkie-talkie radio out there? Let's find out. So this guy is super nice. I've used this on Denali. I've used this out in the desert, in the mountains, and traveling around. There are lots of options for what are called FRS radios. These things are called the family radio system. They don't require a license. You could just go to Walmart or go on to Amazon or, or, or your local Radio Shack or wherever. Uh, Cir Circuit City, no, Circuit City is dead. Best Buy, anywhere and buy these things. Now, you might have a little bit of trouble buying this particular version because it is more expensive, but it's got some nice features compared to the MT350 and the MR350. Uh, one of the huge things about this radio is it's pretty waterproof. I'll give you a demonstration in just a bit. But just a, as a word of disclosure, I am not sponsored by Motorola. As you can see Mo Motorola here. Motorola does not provide me these radios for f uh, free to keep or anything. They're mine. I bought them on my own volition for using for travel. I've used it from car to car. Hey, breaker, breaker. Talking. So that way it's much easier and way safer when you're driving with multiple vehicles trying to mess around on your phone. Eh. If you're driving multiple vehicles, get a walkie-talkie rather than having to mess with your phone because when you mess with your phone, what happens? You text and you crash. You got to pay attention to this thing. You can grab this radio, blah, 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 and I've never taken my eyes off the road. The phone, it is unavoidable. You must take your eyes off the road to be able to do this. Yeah, see, let's see. Let me look and see. It requires my attention. The walkie-talkie comes up, I talk, I press the button, it comes down. So the reason I bought the, the MS over the MT and MR radios is because these guys are supposed to be much, much more waterproof. If you look at the case design, there is no rotary dial switch or anything on the outside. It just has these push buttons that are supposed to be waterproof. And the back case is really nice. The other versions are splash proof. Now as a consequence, they're, they are more expensive. Check out the link below. I've got a link to Amazon. You can check these radios out and the other two versions. And uh, if, if you're having trouble finding those links on your phone, just below the video, just click the little arrow and it expands out and you can see the video. So let me show you how these radios work. I'm not going to go into a total demo of them simply because there are other videos that oh okay use this feature use that feature i don't really care about that you can check out those what i'm giving you is the overview of why i like these better so the very first thing about them is they actually fit your hand really well they seem a little bit beefy but it's pretty nice there are smaller ones there are cheaper ones but this has an lcd it allows you to change the channel get weather updates monitor lock all sorts of things so so that's really nice but the thing you're looking for is, hey, is this waterproof? So let me turn my camera here and I'll prove that this guy is waterproof. Hey, you can check out my dishes. All right, so I am fishing. Let me turn my camera here and I'll, I'll weigh it in a moment. All right. This camera, or this camera, this is also uh, what it's called floating. So if I filled up my sink, this would actually float. So if you do drop it in the water, nothing bad will happen. You can see, I'm going to put the water, try and drive it in there. Yep. Not a problem. Nothing exciting happened. Blah, blah, blah. Still working. So as you can see, that's a pretty much the drowning rat sort of test for this thing. And that's one of the reasons I bought this radio is it's one of those that when you buy something, you think, oh, I don't want to spend the money. Dude, okay, or girl, or, or whatever. Look, on so many things in life, 
you buy these things, they'll probably last, I wouldn't say forever, but a really freaking long time. I've had them for several years. Uh, I've had no problems with them. One of the nice features is in the push to talk, they've got two different power modes. One is a low power. Other one is a high power. The high power transmits, oh, I'm still shaking water off there, but the high power transmits much farther, but eats up more battery. So if you know you're relatively close, it's a good option to have. A quick story, years ago when I was working in engineering at a defense contractor, we had to go into the desert and they said, oh, let's just use our phones. We'll be able to talk. And we're like, no, we need radios. And the management said, no, we need phones. So of course we get to the desert, we pull up our phones and what happens? No signal. Pow! We wasted the entire day. We went out there. If we would have had radios, like I should have just brought them and uh, whatever. Yeah, dumb, silly, but you could have brought them. You could talk. You don't have to have a cell tower. You don't have a network. You just see line of sight, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. You got it. So this is really nice for vehicles, multiple vehicles in the wilderness, all sorts of things. I mean, we even use it at the house here, like leave one in one room and my office is in another part of the house. Hey, food's ready. Hey, I love you. Totally cool. It's like an intercom system. Also, a nice thing is this thing actually has a little flashlight dealy on it. So you can check it out. Super smart, intelligent thing. Another option here, I don't use much, but you can and I can't really get it off. Uh, theoretically, you can get this thing open. Arr. Oh, well, I don't want to wreck it, but yeah, it does have, I, and this is why I never use, it's kind of uh, sealed in, but it does have an ear module that you can do here. And this thing, when you uh, change the channel, it has 15, 16, 15, 14, that's volume. So it gets really, really loud. And you can also change the channels. It's got up to 22 different channels with sideband ability. I mean, it's pretty, pretty slick. It's got a, a, a voice activated option. A, you, know, you turn that on and off. It's got a quiet mode. Here, it's not a vibration. Do you want beeps on and off? Uh, tone warning. Uh, it's, it's got a timer. I mean, uh, I, I can't remember what R is. It's, that's a whole other thing. So I normally just use mine on channel five yeah sideband one it'll go back in a minute so even if all the channels are busy you can choose multiple sidebands and communicate so that's really really nice i mean these radios are pretty solid let me show you how much they weigh here mm -hmm. so again that's the reason i got this over the ms or mr is simply because it is not just splash proof, but waterproof. It floats, all that. All right, so that radio is eight ounces. So a half a pound, it's really not too bad. Let me widen this out and show you the base station that it comes with. It's got a base station charger. I'll show you the batteries in a moment. But you drop that in there, it's charged and ready to go. Super nice. I'm going to use my favorite tool a spoon, you can use a quarter, a nickel, or whatever to open the back here. Super low tech, showing that you do not need any crazy tools to open this. This does come with a rechargeable battery that is replaceable. Should the rechargeable battery poop out, you can put double A's in the back of this thing and then keep it going. If you are going into a very cold location, I'd certainly start off with the rechargeable unit but then I put lithium AA batteries in this thing, used it on Denali when it's minus 35 degrees and freezing, no problem. Do be attentive if you have regular batteries in here. And so this rechargeable pack, you put it in the charger, you don't wanna do that. So you just simply drop this guy back in, lift here, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's got this recharger like pack, you can put multiple Batteries in here it didn't say the other side up when in radio put that in there Close it up. It's got all the usual. It's very easy to use And this is probably the top end of the non-professional FRS radios. I highly like that 
Uh, just to give you an idea how big it is, you can see it in my hand. But just to give you a measurement to be all scientific about it, the radio total length is just about eight inches. Antenna length, three and a quarter inches. So the body, whatever it is, just, a, just around five inches. It is two and, a, two and about a third inch wide. And it's a little bit thick. It's about just around an inch and a half in thickness. So definitely a beefcake of a radio. I have dropped these. I've been in dusty sandstorms. Uh, you can put it in water. It's waterproof. Float it. Make sure the seal is good. Make sure there's no sand and grit in there. But this is the reason I prefer the MS350 over the MTNR. Just because it's completely waterproof, it'll float along. So if you completely fat finger it and you drop it in the water, it's not dead. It has this nice little lanyard guy. And that's why it doesn't have the external dials. That is a huge advantage. They all claim a 35 mile distance. I don't know about that. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my microphone right here. I'm going to turn on the radio. And we're going to see what this sounds like. And it's going to be a little loud. Just a minute. All right, I'm going to put the microphone right here. I'm going to talk in the radio. I'm going to see. I'll, I'll zoom in here. And just to show you what it's like, I'll go in the other room. Just to see what the sound is. All right. Okay, I'll put this guy up here. Here's my microphone. Super low tech. down feedback's a little loud turn the volume down all right okay there we go oh, let's see what do we got okay good to go so as you can see the frs uh, radios the ms350r there's a link below to this guy uh, i love mine i definitely would not uh, be on without it and oops, let me put my microphone back on. I would definitely uh, highly recommend that radio. It is more expensive, but it does really well. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on my video. Scroll to the bottom of your screen on your phone. Check out the comments. If you want to see the links below, you just hit the little arrow and expand, and you can scroll and find the links. Please support my channel by making a donation on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. And also, hit the subscribe button so you can receive updates, motivational material, travel, and adventure. My name is Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker here for you. Thank you for watching my video.